General Hospital Explosive Updates, Sunny's Violent Outburst, Dex's Fate Hangs in Balance. Chase and Brooke Lynn's Romantic Night Takes Surprising Turn. Spinelli Faces Arrest, Threatening Maxie's Happiness. Plus, shocking exit rumors swirl. Who's leaving Port Charles? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After a shift trick, Jason grabs Sunny to stop Dex from attacking the Brennan GH patient. Brooklyn Cordemain and Harrison Chase's wedding reception went on, so they danced and socialized with many of their guests, according to the General Hospital spoilers for Friday, May 17th. Violet Finn wanted to know Hamilton Finn's honest thoughts about her song, so she forced him to stop worrying about the alcohol he had unintentionally consumed. Violet was hugged by Finn, who reassured her that everything was great. Later, Violet and Chase danced, and Violet caught the bouquet that Brooke Lynn tossed to her. Eventually, Brooke Lynn and Chase found themselves in a metro court apartment covered in petals from flowers. They began a romantic night together, making plans for the future as Chase and Brooke Lynn collapsed back onto the bed. She persuaded Damien Spinelli to look into the FBI and their influence on Jason Morgan by going over with Sam McCall. Although Spinelli had some reservations about Sam's idea at first, he ultimately decided to join since Jason would support them in return. Giovanni Gio Palmieri had a conversation starter with Dex Heller at the reception because his father served in the military and was killed in Afghanistan before he was even born. Sonny scowled at the conversation next to him as Dex thought back on his own military service and received updates on Joe's status as a concert violinist. Sonny was advised by Lois Cherulo not to make a big issue out of it, but things went too far later. While offering Gloria Cherulo a glass of water, Dex appeared to be charmed by her attempts to introduce him to a pretty girl who lived with the Cherulo family. Gloria was reprimanded by Lois, but in the end, she agreed that Dex should see her. When Sonny noticed a dropped hearing aid, he continued to monitor Dex and followed him. Thinking it belonged to him, Dax went hunting for Carmine Cherulo, but Sonny cornered him by himself and threatened him. Sonny made it plain that Dax should avoid the Cherulos because they were his people. Sonny said that Dax was fortunate to be alive and that if he didn't listen, that wouldn't last for very long. Dax insisted he wasn't Sonny's enemy as he reached for his arm to stop him from leaving. Sonny struck Dex hard in the eye before losing all composure and pummeling him. Just as Christina Corinthos Davis appeared, Jason grabbed Sonny and held him back, but Sonny stayed angry and threatened to kill them both. A shocked Sonny looked across at Christina, who had dropped and crushed the cake plate she was holding. Sasha Gilmore informed Cody Bell at the Quartermain stables that she was unable to attend the wedding because she had committed to preparing a large amount of food for the after party. After finishing, Sasha had a quick picnic with Cody, sharing some pricey wine that Ned Quartermain, Wally Kurth, had earlier uncorked and just had a glass of. Cody predicted that if his fiance wanted a fancy wedding someday, he wouldn't be able to afford one but Sasha mentioned her garage ceremony with Brando Corbin and implied that the marriage itself was what mattered most. Cody asked Sasha to dance after turning on some music, and the two of them had a private time. Sasha tried to pull herself from Cody's embrace even though she knew she should definitely go. Another prisoner saw Jack Brennan brandishing a knife and desired to get it for himself. Instead, Brennan struck the man, knocking him down cold on the floor close to the restrooms. Brennan then stabbed himself in the abdomen, placed the knife in the other prisoner's hand, and collapsed to the ground. As Brennan was being transported to GH's trauma center, Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes, received information about the event over the phone. According to General Hospital spoilers, Brennan has more tricks up his sleeve, so keep checking back. The next update for today. Jaw saves Dex in Christina's baby emergency and Sonny's shocking witness horror. For their first night together as husband and wife, 
Harrison Chase will treat Brooke Lynn Cordemain in their wedding suite, according to General Hospital previews for Monday, May 20. Gregory Chase will apologize and set the record straight with Hamilton Finn for recently bringing up old grudges. In an effort to maximize their remaining time together, Finn and Gregory will make amends. Alexis Davis will tell someone on the phone that they succeeded, so during that conversation, Diane Miller and she might discuss some last-minute plans for the hearing in Albany. Jack Brennan will be cornered in his hospital room at GH by Anna Devane. By then, Brennan should be stable, but Anna might suspect, as viewers have confirmed, that the injury he sustained while incarcerated was self-inflicted. Anna will not back down from her insistence that Brennan is never more dangerous than when he seems like a nice guy. Since everything about this seems to be a setup for Brennan's escape, it's obvious that Anna won't perceive Brennan as a victim and might even place additional protection on him. Sonny Corinthos will then address the terrifying scene that Christina Corinthos Davis just saw. Sonny will have to wonder just when Christina entered, but it's clear that she saw enough to know her dad was acting erratically. Christina heard Sonny vow to kill both of them as she witnessed Jason Morgan stop him from hurting Dax Heller more. After all the commotion, Blaze, also known as Allison Rogers, will inform Christina that they must go to the hospital because she has an emergency of her own. Christina will be in panic, clutching her baby bulge. Blaze will try her best to soothe Christina, who will be a wreck emotionally, and see to it that she is seen by a physician as soon as possible. Jocelyn Jacks, on the other hand, will rescue Dex and recognize that he also requires immediate medical attention. Dex was severely injured by Sonny, particularly in his eye, therefore Jocelyn is reportedly demanding that they take him to GH. Now that Jason is back, he will contact Carly Spencer and request that she come to the Metro Court immediately. Carly will undoubtedly be concerned when she hears updates about Sonny teasing Dex and acting strangely in front of Christina. According to GH spoilers, Sonny might be handcuffed soon. We'll keep you updated on any new developments about his legal troubles as well as any other startling information. The next update for today. Maxi lashes out after Spinelli's arrest, accusing Sam of conducting an improper FBI investigation. According to General Hospital spoilers, Damien Spinelli risks serious consequences if he fulfills Sam McCall's request. As part of her scheme to help Jason Morgan, Sam is depending on the Jackal to look into the FBI. Spinelli might be in for a disastrous situation here because he loves Sam so much and would sacrifice anything for Jason. This seems like the kind of situation that would lead to Spinelli being taken into custody, which would undoubtedly enrage Maxie Jones. Spinelli may now, at last, start a happy life with Maxie and the children. Nothing is more what Spinelli desires, and now that Maxie has shown her love for him, he has every reason to anticipate a good future. You can count on Maxie to blow her top if Sam's cunning plot results in Spinelli being placed in handcuffs. Maxie may go all on Sam for placing Spinelli in legal hot water and complaining that she was jeopardizing their opportunity at a happy ever after. For Maxie and Spinelli, this can lead to conflict. It might also compel a discussion on how, in order to be a consistent presence in Maxie and the kid's life, Spinelli must prioritize them. Naturally, Diane Miller could definitely utilize her consistently superior legal talents to make this right. Even if Spinelli is caught, Diane might be able to clear him of all charges with her legal wizardry. According to our GH predictions, Spinelli and Maxie might be on the cusp of a really fulfilling romance, but they might still need to overcome a few obstacles. Maxie and Spinelli may even be getting married soon, but it's obvious that Spinelli needs to cut back on his risk-taking and focus on what matters most. According to General Hospital teasers, Maxie and Sam might become entangled over Spinelli's predicament. Stay in for updates on any concerning developments and potential conflicts. The next update for today. 
A general hospital blind item indicates the exit of a well-known actress is a well-known figure leaving GH. According to General Hospital Spoilers, a new blind item has many fans worried about a possible exit. There have already been some rumors regarding cast reductions, and there may be further proof that a significant character is quitting GH. Naturally, nothing is official just yet, but Casey from the chat recently revealed some fresh information on social media. Let's examine the blind item and discuss its potential implications for the show. A really well-liked and well-known actress may make her film debut this year. If the initial course doesn't work out as planned, I'd be shocked, Casey stated on X, the previous Twitter. Casey implied that Patrick Mulcahy, who is no longer on the writing staff, was purportedly a saving jobs of people we actually want to see, in response to a commenter's request for further information. Once more, nothing has been confirmed as of yet, but Casey has a history of providing insider information. At the very least, it's worthwhile to focus on this and consider the potential actress at the center of this obscure item. Now that fans are making assumptions about the possible departure of a female character, a few names have been floated, so let's talk about who it might be. Popular actresses Cynthia Watrose, Maura West, Tabiana Ali, and Rebecca Herbst could be in danger based on the plans that the TPTB have in store for the future. Though it's too soon to tell for sure, it's always a good idea to be prepared in case a significant departure is imminent and to be informed of any casting cuts that might occur. If this blind item turns out to be genuine, are there any actresses about whom you are especially concerned? Who do you suppose could be next to go? Now that another writing transition is underway, our projections suggest some unexpected reorganizations, we'll keep you updated as more information becomes available. There will be some twists and turns in Port Charles, according to General Hospital spoilers, so stay tuned for updates on all the drama. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.